Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I won't do it anymore. Crowman and Mr. Gold of the Duck of the Crowman Show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the end. You're going to jail. <laughs> That one on the left is a boy. You can see it's getting horns. Yeah, oh yeah, you got the carrots, huh? Yeah. Oops. Pay attention. <laughs> Just land all over them. You don't have a broom or, or something to sweep or a brush? Not really. Got a toothbrush. <sighs> Blair Witch Project. <laughs> that was really cool. Are they just trying to hang out with us or what? Maybe. Because right now, they already made a complete 300, 360, you know. Yeah. They're over there. Over there. Really fucking checking us out. From all angles. That's funny. Get the away from me fly all right no they're taking off all right release the hounds attack dogs who do you what do you think would win a, a hound dog or, or a fucking deer a group of Deer versus a group of attack dogs. A group of deer versus a group of attack dogs? I don't know, someone should make that. <laughs> someone should create that, uh, that scene. I mean, you'd need attack dogs tagging deer. you kind of a bloody thing. Kind of would be. Make sure to win. Fuck off. Iron penny, a steel penny. Yeah, steel I think penny. You show me that. Jose, do you see this? I pulled this out of one of the rolls of pennies in my work. I find the other part. What the hell? Yeah. Steel penny. They're like 50 cents, but they're really cool. That one's in pretty good condition, but they're actually supposed to be shiny. But the zinc wore off on them. So if this was shiny, it'd be worth a lot of money because zinc wore off on pretty much all of them that weren't exposed to air a lot. So beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. It's making cry. What were you saying? Look at the guy that tried to kill himself in the fucking passenger seat. There's like fucking files and shit. Look at that. Look at that. This is dog. Oh my god, there's fucking something written on the side. Like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Try not to be like too. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't feel. Mm -hmm. Don't fall on it. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. What is this? 
Holy shit, that's fucking scary. It says Donald Trump, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, it does. Washington, D.C. He wrote a letter to Trump. Shine your light in there a little more. We gotta get in here, man. I wanna see the No, shut up. Shine your light in there a little more, please. It's We're not gonna touch this. We're just gonna see what we can see from outside the window. It says... Local police will strength. That's unbelievable. He wrote a, Trump, a letter to Trump. Continue the story of the man. There's a picture of a dog. I wonder, I wonder if that dog is, if he still has the dog, or if the dog's still alive, I mean. What the fuck did we just walk into? I mean, it's, who knows what his, his background is, who knows what his story is. It's, it's unbelievable. It, <laughs> that, that. Where is he from? Well, I hope, I, I really hope that, you know, he, he finds whatever is, is, is help, I hope he finds help, you know. Well, you got, what are you doing with the light? Oh. Fuck. We, we need to talk about this tomorrow. Dude, I'm out here in the fucking middle of nowhere, right? And mm. I see this car, and there's all this shit in the car. Just fucking... Holy shit. It's like, let me read it. It says, talk to Gloria at Land and Sea for the storage container. Uh, they are in my paperwork. I told eight people that I was going to do this, and... Not one of them called the police or someone to help me, or to help have uh, $45 left to my name. And uh, there's a bunch of paperwork in here, you know, there's a bunch of files, binders, books. This guy was gonna kill himself, the park ranger said. And, uh, Fucking, he also wrote a letter to Donald Trump, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., to 20, to the, or the, the, I can't speak right now, Washington, D.C., 205,000. Okay. Battery is full. Yes. Bitch. Ready to pair. We're going through everything, dude. <laughs> That's what I would think. Oh. <laughs> no one has tacos anymore. Oh. Shot anybody? Some, someone take a shot with me. I would like to. I would like to eventually, someday. I really would. We can have that in paperwork somewhere. Okay. But that doesn't seem like that's going to happen, because you suck. The Yaxkin meaning is you sun, sun god, red clouds, and green. If you are a Yaxkin, really you are actually it. connected to the Mayan sun god it. named Akin. Black. This god was praised for the protection against disease, darkness, and infertility.
as a born healer, you are extremely well, helpful for those done around you. This, the traditional Even if someone that one lit up super fast. Day, yeah. It feels as if you can erase right. and them. And then we got this hella bright, though. We got a fresh one over here. Them oh, it's happy thoughts. This table. Even though you Central are camp. It feels um, as if you can erase the negativity circulating okay, in your brain. There's the hole. I'm going to actually get this one on camera. But instead, you know that even if something bad happens, the positive is... Holy shit! Attitudes like this can <laughs> bring cool. people up who are experiencing oh, great worry. No, this is providing light all across yeah, the camp. Yeah, that was the first time this has ever, ever been lit. For this one. That one's hella... That one can go hella bright. You, sun, sun god, red clouds, and green. If good? you are a yeah, that's cool. You are actually connected to the Mayan right. sun god named Akin. This god was praised for the protection against disease, cool. darkness, oh, and negativity. Mouse. As a born healer, you are extremely helpful for those around you. Even if someone is having a bad day, it feels as if you yeah, can erase the negativity the circulating in their brain and replace them with cool. happy thoughts. Even though you are a very happy-go-lucky character, like boy, me. can you worry. This isn't good for situations of your own. Uh, sure, you can this calm others down, but As you can tell, when it's your own problems, that one you can get yourself into a panic. I think they were brand new. You need to remind yourself yeah, they, that worrying before. actually achieves Both nothing. Both these are brand new. This, is, so this one's been burning you. for 10 years. If you're unsure probably more than that. Probably like 13 years, running. actually. Take a bath or participate in an activity. <laughs> it's still going. And I can turn it up. I can make it bright like the other ones. Just remember... All wow, okay. it still looks different, in, and you at least in the camera. And you should seek advice so they can reassure you that your worries These are actually all in your head. These ones look bright as head. fuck. They're brand new. Mall, yeah, maybe it's the glass. From December 13th to January 1st. Huh. The mall meaning is water, clouds gather, jaguar. This brand new glass. Mall is the last sign of huh. the Mayan calendar. Or maybe it's just a camera adjustment. Sagittarius or huh. a Capricorn. What's up? However, uh, neither signs yeah, are one of water, just like Molly. Probably would have more fun going back the other way. Oh shit, I almost walked off the cliff. Uh, I made it all the way back around and back up to the camp. So, let's call an Uber. Call an Uber. And Alex and Joe <laughs> disappeared. Down the hill, or they they got tired and didn't believe that this would lead us, if we continued on, that it would lead us back to the camp. So we split into two, and decided to see which ones of us will get there first and which ones of us will get there not at all. And we made it. Okay. There's the potty rooms. And water. So, since I came all the way back up here, I decided to get. This, the footage of where the rope was, where the guy had originally planned to hang himself. Now this isn't a very steep cl cliff right here, as you can clearly see. And uh, he tied it up there and planned on jumping down here. And the rope was about long enough to reach right about here. So, yeah. But anyways, mysteriously, all the photos that I took of the rope disappeared along with all the other photos I took with the cannon, but none of the footage. All of the footage of, uh, of, uh, that we, that we took on the cannon for our videos was still there, but not a single photo, certainly not a single photo of the cliff here where the rope was dangling down. It looks like the rangers probably already removed it. Yeah, it definitely wasn't over here, because this is where we were filming. That was it. One week later, I mean, they left it up there for a couple of days. For, yeah, it was up there the Wednesday, the day we showed up, and it was still there Saturday, Sunday, when we left. What a trip, and I, I hope the guy finds the help that he's looking for, and uh, that he doesn't kill himself again. Uh, I don't think a single day has gone by where I thought about suicide, not since Trump was elected. Uh, so whatever his issues are, I, I hope he gets them resolved. And, and uh, I don't know, if he wants to mail a letter to Trump, you know, just 
just do it the old-fashioned way like what I did. Stick it in an envelope, put, in a, put a stamp on it, and send it to them. I think that's probably more likely to get to them than hanging yourself, but, you know, that's just, just my, my guess. Well, thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun.